Steven Andrew with the 25. Nick, could you give me a quick handshake? I want to shake your hand. <laughs> Come here. I want to shake your hand. There you go, man. Boombox789 with the 25. Can we please get the loose teeth guy again? Man, I, <laughs> I know the cane, man. I can't even feel my mouth, man. I just, I heard that, and it, and then it started working. Then my brain started working. And I started thinking to myself, I can't even feel my lower mandible, man. I mean, they shot needles, goddamn thing, this long, all the way in to the bottom of my chin. It felt like it went through my fucking mouth, dude. I think it's working again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, wor <laughs> it, it's working again. <laughs> I gotta had to jump start it. <laughs> Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. A skag spoon. You're heating it up, man. Heating that spoon up. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Hell yeah. One of my favorite. Heating that spoon up. Calling uh, heroin skag is so mm. funny to me. Really? Yeah. Is it a name for it? Yeah. There's a. Um, I didn't know that. Either. There's yeah. a uh, in a Hunter S. Thompson book. He called a oh. a uh, a heroin dealer a skag baron, and that stuck with me. The name the skag is such a crazy word. But here he That's is. That's the name man. of my lawnmower. Yeah, it makes it all scary. So yeah, no, I know. Disgusting. Now I'm just gonna think it was my little heroin mower, my little heroin chopper. <laughs> now I'm gonna sit on it and just nod off. I'm gonna drive it right to the Kino bar. Hey, Skag, stay awake. Yeah, I'm gonna be driving out Route Six. I'm gonna be like, hey. <laughs> I can just push my zero turn down the highway and just like, <laughs> get off my back. You think this shit's fucking easy? That's what I'm saying to a cop on my lawnmower. Immedi <laughs> I immediately get into the sympathy play. With the cop. <laughs> He's like, you gotta get off the road. I'm like, you think this is fucking easy, officer? You try it. Please. You try it. You ever meet my family? Ah! And he's like, Jesus They're fucking dead. Christ. He's like, actually, you strike a nerve with him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, actually. Like, yeah. Man, I was there. Fuck. <laughs> All right, last man. year. Yeah, yeah. he's just like, he like, kind of like nudges you over and then, and then he does heroin with you. <laughs> Last one here. Emily yeah. says, "Jet, you ignored. Where do I send shirt?" Um, you can you could uh, message me on Instagram or Twitter if you actually brought a shirt for me. I don't want to, you know, you brought a gift. I'll see. You. Just me uh, message me on Twitter. Or damn these those these these those be chasing you, dog. Oh damn, Jet. The assistant. Message the assistant. Yo, dog. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, dog. You you down in it. It better be a good shirt. Yo, man, she like it. She like it. Like you or something. She got me a shirt, bro. Yo, she buy you your shirt. Yo, like I hope it's Burberry, baby. Yo, you know my Dominican guy like the Burberry. Yeah. Yo, different. I used to get it out of the trunk. <laughs> anything. The girl work at the outlet. Yo, I get a deal on anything. You know Zara. Yeah. Yeah, you know Zara. Yo, that shit like a little skinny though. Like you wear the Zara, that shit like barely bought it. Yo, like I can't even bought it. It's tight. It's tight. Yeah, so it's tight like for skinny. You gotta be like a muscle. skinny. Yeah, no, not like big guy like us. We don't wear that shit, dude. We gotta wear something different. We gotta wear like <laughs> even the Gap. Yo, even the Gap is better. Even Ye Crew. <laughs> yo, even like honestly, I wear like Ye Crew a lot. It's better. Uh, we got Garrett Schwang. 22 Canadian Nick thoughts on rammed earth dreaming to incorporate into a build uh, PS you get $22 every day because Chris sounds like he's having a stroke every time he reads funny enough I actually went to the hospital uh, one time hey. uh, no one time because actually my face the left side of my face went numb and if you tell them that the left side the, that your face is numb you skip the line really everybody who's got like a cut or like actually like has you a said bodily the left injury. Side of your face? Yeah, I wasn't lying either. That's but a cheat code to the hospital. It's a cheat code to the emergency room. As you say, the left side of your face hurts. Uh, or is it going numb? Okay. And then, they, then they start touching your All face, right. and you know, I'll take it. Nice nurse comes over and uh, fucking does a she, she, cat scan or whatever. They, they just give you hand jobs. <laughs> yeah, they're She's like, like, hey, what's up? You like metal? Yeah. Does it hurt now? Oh, <laughs> I heard the left side of your face is hurting. You're like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Whoa! I love the hospital. Oh, the hospital is great. <laughs> Uh, no, that's <laughs> yeah, so so that was relevant. Um, cool. Ever super Yo, chat. Thank thanks, you, man. Thank you for choosing Appreciate us, man. That. What is the worst tenant story you've heard or landlord experience you've had, Nick? Oh my God, man. I had I had nightmares of tenants. I've seen. Oof, I'm trying to think of things. We had I had a tenant right. I had these two strippers living next door. Yeah. And they they would get in fist fights. 
The first, this is a true story. They would fight each other? They would fight each other. The That's first day they moved funny. into each other, right? They like conned me. They, 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 anyway, they, um, they lived, I lived in a duplex. They lived inside. I lived with my friend Dean and my friend Ryan Krause. And it was our first night moving in. We were like 22. And we were all like, first beer, literally. Like, moved our shit in, got the cables on, the, everything's up, fucking Xbox is on. The, uh, the two strippers, they're old, they were older than us. We were 22. They were like 30. Yeah. Um, one of them knocks on the door. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> there was like a shared door in the middle. Yeah. Like, I shit you not. Like, you gotta get this girl away from me. And the other one was like this. <laughs> like literally like that. Like running at like, like a 90 pound fucking wire eyed stripper. They were, she tried to hit her. She was punching right over her back, right in the middle of the living room. We're like, we, we were like smoking a blunt. I think we were smoking a blunt at the time. We were like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Or just like, yeah, man. Like something happened. Someone said something to someone. I had to pull them off. And they ended up like calming down. Scratches on their face, like bloody scratches, oh like inch long. Like not like blood everywhere, but like yeah. like deep fingernail scratches. I was like, holy shit. Jesus. Um, that, that girl ended up leaving dog shit two inches thick in the, it was a three bedroom apartment. Yeah. Um, I ended up foreclosing on the property, fucking my whole life up. That was the one. I just basically left the keys in the door. They wouldn't do a loan modification. So I was like, all right, I'm leaving it. I lived in it for free for 12 months. And then I went and I was homeless. It was awesome. But, and it was the best time of my life. Sam was living there. It was super fun. Yeah. And uh, the, the, she stayed in like the crack house the whole time. And like, Lived in it for free for like another eight months, and she really? left dog shit in the middle of the room so bad that there were like uh, piles of trash and rats climbing to the second floor. So yeah, owning a multi's cool. Multi-family investment home, <laughs> cool. That worked out good for me. That's a good. That's that's hard to top. Uh, yeah, dude. Don't rent to fucking like uh, people who want to like grow weed and like that fucking fuck that all that shit. Fucking strippers are just fucking out of control. And I did a favor for a friend of a friend, and it just blew up my face. And fucking, where are they? Hey, man, the the girl you told me was cool is a fucking psychopath. Yeah. You owe me eight grand. Like, what am I gonna say? Oh, I can't believe that happened, dude. Are you fucking crazy? Are you serious? That's what I get on the phone. I knew she was a little crazy. I didn't know it was like that, that, dude. Oh, I'm like, oh, cool. Well, my fucking house is basically burned down to the ground. Thanks for the recommendation. I'm stupid for fucking agreeing to it. So I was just so happy to get a tenant in there, but. Um, yeah, I don't, that's why I don't, I can't be a landlord ever again. It just traumatized me. <laughs> ah, crashing. Yeah. Whew. You ever try to piss in your own mouth? In your own mouth? Yeah, you ever try to piss in your own mouth? Fucking. I remember when I was in, this is unrelated, it's, but. It's stupid. I'm 38 with a mortgage and I try to piss in my own mouth. Oh, I see what happened. So fucking stupid, dude. Nick, you made a mess, man. I'm not gonna. Yeah, dude. Fucking piss in my own mouth. Try to piss in my own mouth for fun outside to entertain myself, and I pissed all over myself again. You guys ever think it's funny to piss in your own mouth outside by yourself, and then you realize you're just fucking stupid, and there's like, you have like a wife and child inside, and you have a mortgage, and it's not funny anymore. What about it makes you want to try to get it in your mouth? Is it the warmth or the taste? I just feel like if someone ever saw it from 60 feet away, it would just be so funny. Yeah, you're, tr you're just trying to make people laugh. Yep, and then and I heard the deer laughing in the woods. Lastly, we got Rocky Stream. What's up? Okay, he says, sup, fellas. What kind of house would be a three rabid pit bulls type house? Ooh, a three rabid pit bulls would be a condo with a garage and an, an inner city con, not an inner city, a down city condo with a garage underneath. Yeah. 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 Like a brick building with a garage you drive underneath it with like an elevator. I'd, I'd do something. I'd, I'd let pit bulls chew on my feet for that. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, it's, it's worth it. Metal garage. Power door. Yeah. Upstairs. Palatial. Two 2,000 square foot floors all to yourself. I f I'll fuck around with some pit bulls for that. I do some shit with some pit bulls. I don't talk about it. I'm not proud of it. But you don't have the house like me now. You don't have the, the big one in Texas. For yurking off the... Yurking off the, uh, yurking. Yur you know, you, so what I, yur so what I yurking off the, the <laughs> Tibetan Mastiffs, big deal. John Forte with the 25, hey brother, you gotta check, big red light says closed, man, we're not taking them right now, I'm sorry, man. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do it, I do it for good, I'm gonna do it for that kid, let's do kid. it, we'll do this kid's one, I'm gonna, 
You got an angel tonight. You got an angel. You got ki you got kissed by an angel tonight. You better be lucky Detective Rochefort's in this room. Yeah. With me and you right now. It's good cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, let him go, Jet! You're like, no, he's a piece of shit! He's selling drugs to kids! <laughs> and then he's got his, like, chair on the guy's neck, like... <laughs> You're like, easy, Jet! <laughs> Commandant Lassard came down here last week and pushed us up against the wall and said, you guys are going rough. I got two Vietnamese gangsters screaming with black eyes and broken noses. What the hell happened? They walked in here on camera, clean as a whistle, and they left here looking like uh, Peter McNeely. And I'm like, must have fell down on the way the in, in the interrogation office, didn't he, Roachford? I'm like, yes, chief. <laughs> give me your gun, give me your badge. So no, uh, no, I'm gonna, we're gonna go light. We're not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna let Jet be the police brutality, but no, no, it's all right. <laughs> He's just going a little wild, you know what I mean? He's settling into it. He's, he's got the anonymous hey. shirt on tonight, you know what I mean? He's got the Guy Fawkes mask on today. We don't forgive, we do not forget, man. <laughs> yeah, we never forget.